¡Qué horror, Dios mío! For the survivors of the Santiago de Compostela train disaster, the shock is still very real. On Friday, the mayor said people who'd been injured were making progress and some had been released from hospital. Euronews spoke to Roberto Farita, an American citizen with a Spanish grandfather. Three years ago, he recovered from cancer. Now, he found himself caught up in another drama. You were in the train when it crashed? Yes, I was in the train in carriage number seven. Were you alone? I was with my wife. We'd come here for the festival. Tell us what you remember about the accident. It's difficult for me to talk about it without getting emotional because it was so horrible. As the train was traveling along, we didn't realize that it had started to lean over or the speed at which it was going, and that's why it came off the rails. It happened so fast, it was a matter of seconds. Everything was dark. People were yelling. I was thrown against the side of the train as if I were a rubber ball. And my wife, she's now in a critical condition. She was under the seats, under three people, seats and luggage. And I was shouting to my wife, calling out to her, so that she would know if she were conscious that we were looking for her. She had a serious head injury. She was bleeding. She couldn't see. Her eyes were swollen. Her dress was nearly torn off. And then we began calling for help. People came from the local town, and about ten of them carried her to the ambulance. The medical staff were choosing who they could help, and there were people around us who were dying. A young man of 26 or 27, it seemed that he was kind of okay, but then he died. And then another young woman and a man, well, it, it was horrible. And I kept saying to my wife, Breathe, breathe, don't stop breathing, respira, respira, no pare. Sigue respirando, uno, dos, one, two, three. And it went on like that until we got to the hospital. Then, for five hours, I had no idea where she was. The only thing I could think of was that she was being operated on. And you were injured as well? Yes, I am injured. I have this here. And you can also see this here. And there are more in other places. Thank God, not my face, just some bumps on my head. The doctors are worried about some blood in my urine. They did some tests and I'm under observation. And where are you staying now? In a hotel. We have no luggage. I bought this T-shirt today. The trousers belong to my son-in-law. I bought the socks, and the trainers are those I was wearing when the accident happened. And now, of course, we're waiting for help from the U.S. Embassy. We don't need much, just some money for our immediate needs. At midday, another minute's silence was held in Santiago, one of many held in Galicia and across Spain.